This is third grade, unit four, check review, part two, which is problems five through seven. So here we go. Circle groups to show three times two times three. So what this means, and one way to say this, is I want three groups of, or three times the quantity of, two times three. And when we work a, a problem that has parentheses, we start with what's in parentheses. So we want groups of two times three. When you, re, you remember what you were doing with arrays in the last chapter, we had two groups of three, two rows of three. So here's two rows of three. Here's another two rows of three, another group of two rows of three, and I have three groups of two rows of three. Three groups, two rows of three. So all you had to do was circle to show three groups of two of three, if you really wanted to go on and find the answer to that. Two times three is six, and three times six is 18. That wasn't required, but just so you know the answer. Dale keeps all of his pairs of shoes in his closet. Select the number of shoes that Dale could have in his closet. Mark all that apply. So that tells me, because it says mark all that apply, that there's going to, going to be at least two correct answers, but there could be more. So on this problem, Dale keeps all of his shoes in his closet. They're not under the bed or under the couch. They're all in the closet. So how many um, shoes could he have in his closet? And notice it says, how many shoes? Well, shoes come in pairs, so that means they're groups of two, correct? So two, four, six, eight. Those are, and we can continue that pattern. So he could have four shoes in his closet. He could have six shoes in his closet and he could have eight shoes in his closet. Could not have three because that would not be groups of two. Shoes, comes in t shoes comes, come in twos, or if not seven, because that is not an even number. So that's one way they're asking us about even and odd numbers. The next question is a go deeper question. It says, Lisa completed the table to describe the product, product being the answer to multiplication, of a mystery, mystery one digit factor and each number. So it says the products are all even. So let's refer back to this problem up here. So if the products are all even, we know that they need to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So can we put a 1 here? 1 times 1 is 1. Oh, no, nope, that's odd. So that wouldn't work. What about a 2? 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10. Oh, so 2 will work. What about 3? 3 times 1? Nope. It won't work because th the answer would be 3, and that's an odd number. So what about 4? 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 will work. All of my products are even. What about 5? Five? 5 times 1 is 5. That's odd. That won't work. Let's try 6. 6 times 1 is 6. That's even. 6 times 2 is 12. That's even. 6 times 3 is 18. That's an even number. 6 times 4 is 24. That's even. 6 times 5 is 30. So we have that one. So now I hope you're seeing the pattern. We tried 1. It didn't work. We tried 3. It didn't work. We tried 5. It didn't work. But we, tr we tried our even numbers 2, 4, and 6, and they worked. So would 7 work? No. But 8 would work. Would 9 work? No, 9 wouldn't work. And, and then our next number would be 10, so it would be an, into two-digit factors instead of one-digit factors. So what this says next, after we've listed those numbers, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are the numbers we can use, explain how you know that you have selected all of the correct possibilities. So if we're going to multiply by a one-digit number, first of all, that's the one-digit numbers. And how do we know we selected all the correct possibilities? Because um, the products, which means the answer, the product of any number 
and an even number is even. So the product of any number and even number, and we have, I have selected all the one digit even numbers. So we wrote in complete sentences. So this is how you would answer that problem. I guessed in tests. Really didn't guess. I knew the answer already, but I did test it out to make sure it was true. And as soon as I got an odd number answer, I knew that that sing, single digit would not work. And we wanted one digit factors. Of course, we didn't try zero, even though we know zero is even. And the answer, according to the zero property, zero times any number is zero. So those would all be even as well. So if you wanted to add that, I, I don't think your teacher would be upset about that. But th these are the answers that we're looking for here. That's the end of part two.